Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, three triangles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of all uh, these uh, triangles uh, is identical. In other words, if the area of this triangle is uh, A, then the area of this other triangle is A, and this is A as well. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, A, E is uh, four uh, units. And this uh, segment uh, E, B is uh, X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, X uh, length. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label uh, this uh, triangle as our triangle uh, number one, this uh, other triangle as uh, our triangle number two, and finally this is our triangle uh, number three. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, one, and let's assume that this uh, side length uh, AD of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, Y. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula, area equals to a half times the base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base uh, of this triangle one uh, is uh, four, and the height uh, is uh, y, and the area is uh, uppercase uh, a. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So area of this triangle is uh, uppercase a equals to a half uh, times uh, four, uh, times uh, y and if we simplify our uppercase value a turns out to be equal to 2 times y so therefore the area of this uh, triangle 1 turns out to be 2 times uh, y and since the area for all uh, these uh, triangles is identical if this area is uh, 2 times y then the area of this triangle is uh, 2 times y and the area of this triangle is uh, 2 times y as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, 2. Let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this triangle uh, BF uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base times uh, height. And in our case, uh, our uh, base uh, is uh, x and the height of this uh, triangle 2 is lowercase a and the area of this uh, triangle is 2 times y. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got area as uh, 2 times y equals to a half uh, times uh, x uh, times uh, a. And now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. And here we can see this 1 divided by 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore we got uh, 2 times 2, 4 uh, times y turns out to be equal to x uh, times uh, a. And now I am going to divide both sides by x to isolate uh, lowercase a. This x and x is gone. So therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 4y divided by x. So therefore our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 4 times y divided by x. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, bf length uh, is 4y divided by x. And we know this uh, ad length uh, equals to this uh, bc length. And since this uh, ad length is y, so therefore uh, this uh, bc length is going to be y as well. So therefore uh, this uh, remaining uh, segment uh, fc is going to be y minus 4y divided by x. And now I am going to tweak uh, this uh, very first term. I can multiply and divide by x uh, at the very same time. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And then we can see that uh, y is in common between both of these terms and uh, x uh, at the denominator is common as well. So therefore we can factor out uh, y divided by x uh, outside and inside this uh, parenthesis is going to be x uh, minus uh, 4. 
So therefore, uh, this uh, segment uh, FC turns out to be Y divided by X uh, times uh, X uh, minus uh, 4. And finally, let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, 3. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, AB length uh, is going to be X uh, plus 4. So therefore, X plus 4 is uh, this uh, AB length. And we know that this uh, AB length uh, is equal to CD length. So therefore, if this length is X plus 4, then uh, CD length is going to be X uh, plus 4 uh, as well. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of uh, this uh, triangle 3 is Y divided by X times X minus 4 and the height uh, is uh, x uh, plus 4 and the area of this uh, triangle 3 is uh, 2 times y as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, 2 times y equal to a half uh, times uh, our base uh, is y divided by x uh, times uh, x minus uh, 4 and our height uh, is uh, x uh, plus uh, and here we can see this y and y cancels out from both sides. So therefore we are ended up uh, with 2 on the left hand side uh, equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, x uh, times x uh, minus 4 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 4. And now I am going to multiply both uh, sides by 2x to remove uh, this uh, fraction. So therefore, on the left hand side, this turns out to be 4x uh, equals to this 1 divided by 2x and 2x is gone. So therefore, we ended up with the x uh, minus 4 times uh, x uh, plus uh, 4. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity. a minus b times a plus b is going to be equal to a square minus b square, the difference of two squares. And we are going to apply this identity on the right hand side. So that whole thing on the right hand side is going to be x square minus 4 square. That is going to be equal to x square minus 16. So therefore we are ended up 4x equal to x square minus 16. Let me move this 4x on the other side. So therefore, we are ended up with the x square minus uh, 4, x minus uh, 16 equals to 0. And here we can see we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by using the quadratic formula. And here is our quadratic formula that we will be using. And here in our case, our coefficient uh, a is 1, uh, our coefficient b is uh, negative 4 and our constant uh, c is negative uh, 16. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So x is going to be minus uh, and then b value is uh, negative 4 plus r minus uh, the square root of uh, negative 4 whole square minus 4 time a is 1, c is negative 16 all over 2 times a is 1. Now let's simplify. x uh, turns out to be equal to positive 4 plus r minus. So uh, that is going to give us uh, 16 uh, plus uh, 64 all over 2. And if we simplify furthermore, we are ended up with x equal to 4 plus r minus square root of uh, 80 divided by 2. And now let's focus on this uh, square root of uh, 80. And here I have copied down and if we simplify square root of 80, it turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 5. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this square root of 80 by 4 times uh, square root of 5. And now I can write uh, this as x uh, equal to 4 divided by 2 plus r uh, minus uh, 4 times square root of 5 uh, divided by 2 as well. So therefore our x value turns out to be 2 plus r minus 2 times square root of 5. And now we are going to separate these positive and negative signs. 
as you can see in this uh, next step one with the positive sign and one with the negative sign and now we can see that this uh, x value is uh, negative and x cannot be a negative value because x represents the side length so therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 2 plus 2 times square root of 5 so thus our x value turns out to be 2 plus 2 times uh, square root of 5 units and that is going to be approximately equal to 6.472 units as well thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye